Okay, now that I am back from the road trip to see my dad and to also fight evil clowns and redneck cannibals, I will be going out of town next weekend as well, so come see us at Wizard World Madison from November 30th to December 2nd, where we'll have all of our DVDs with us. Plus, if you use the promo code CINEMA20, you can get 20% off your tickets, which you can do so at www.wizardworld.com. Since I'm not wearing this uncomfortable onesie for nothing, might as well talk about a movie now. Okay, don't let my onesie fool you. I may be dressed like gift wrap, but I assure you that the movie I'm about to show you is anything but a present. And if you would like to open my onesie as if it were a Christmas gift, do not let me stop you from seeing what's inside. <laughs> it's chest hair and a dick. If you ever wanted to see what was going on next door to the theater filming Miss Velma's Christmas, then congratulations! Here's Santa Visits the Magic Land of Mother Goose. That's right, this 1967 hell play fits right along with Satan's Christmas Film Festival, which includes the magic Christmas tree and Santa's Christmas elf named Calvin. Although it is a one-up on Santa's Christmas elf named Calvin, in that, well, things actually move in this one. We've seen how the people in Fun in Balloon Land celebrate Thanksgiving. Well, now I have a pretty good idea of how they celebrate Christmas. Oftentimes on this show, we like to say things like, Ah, oh, this looks like community theater. Ah, oh, this is acted like it's a school play. But in this movie's case... Never before, never again. It is literally filmed on a high school stage. Now you know what happens when Herschel Gordon Lewis directs your Christmas pageant. No, seriously, it's directed by Herschel Gordon Lewis, the exploitation movie pioneer behind such early gore classics as Blood Feast and 2000 Maniacs. Explains the scene where Mother Goose pulls out Santa's tongue and eats it. And if you couldn't tell, this movie is directed by an exploitation filmmaker who's directed everything from slasher movies to porn. Look at the opening logo. Excellent. So are Santa and Mother Goose gonna fuck? I hope not, because I don't want to see anyone in this movie fuck! <laughs> <laughs> He's staring at pictures of his victims. Santa is introducing us to the land of Mother Goose, I think. I don't know if he's sober. And you know, after a busy day, I like to relax a little. Santa had one too many nightcaps. This is definitely the same universe as Christmas Evil. How many people have you killed? Mother Goose. <laughs> An old King Cole. You know, the merry old soul with the Fiddler's Three. <laughs> and Little Miss Muffet. <laughs> Oh, yes, that jolly Santa laugh. It isn't ho ho ho, it's ha 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 ha. Don't get too scared, kids. He's about to pass out. You'll have to excuse me, but I'm so tired. Okay, well, Santa's down for the count, so I guess the cameraman is going to read us the bedtime story. And in case you didn't know how lazy this film is, you can actually hear the director yell, CUT! Cut. They needed that in the movie to prove that the film actually has a crew. Unless that was just the elves ordering someone to cut open Santa so they can feast on his organs. It is an H.G. Lewis movie. Now we meet the Burger King, the best Mother Goose story. Or uh, it might be Old King Cole, whatever. Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. <laughs> Tone it down, dancing Caligula. 
doesn't take long for anything to creep me out. Well, that's nice. I would have been all alone if you hadn't been here. Oh, I think so, too. <laughs> I've said it once, and I'll say it again. Stop fucking the balloons! Apparently, this medieval times could only get their craziest employee to work on the holidays. And if you think this isn't a very gacy Christmas special, just wait until he opens that book again. Just take a look at that. Hmm. No words! The only thing she's done since she's been here is sleep. Because that's a skeleton from a child you suffocated to death by stuffing her in a book with no air holes. Don't worry, Mother Goose's voodoo curse has brought her back to life. Uh, I need a Christmas miracle. I think it would take a magician to make me happy. What did you say? Phew, I can't believe it's taken this long for God to step in and put a stop to these movies. <laughs> That's not God. It's another escape metal patient! This is Merlin, and I'm guessing the dunce cap means he put frogs in someone's sandwich in the school cafeteria. Merlin is definitely a magician. Watch this. Oh! Heavenly days. You are a magician. Why, that's wonderful. Well, I'm convinced. Watch this. <laughs> See? I'm a juggler. Can you make this movie not terrifying? What? 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 What's this? I don't like these Annabelle movies anymore. At one point, they mentioned Casper the Friendly Ghost, only they try removing the line for rights reasons. I used to have a little friend around the castle who was a little ghost, a very gentle little ghost. His name was Casper. And they replaced his voice with the Budweiser frogs! Guys, I've seen Turkish Casper. No one is coming after you for this movie. By the way, that handkerchief, it's supposed to be Casper. Casper is so much better than this! And yes, I remember Casper and the Angels. Casper also gives Merlin a helping hand when he needs to wipe off semen from jerking off to that dancing nightmare doll. I always wanted to see Merlin fight with his own magic sperm. Ah, good. Casper is a pair of panties now, you rapey fucking ghost. And when Cindy Lou Boo starts dancing, it really does feel like it's turning into the Eraserhead holiday special. Good, there's more. So this is what the animals were doing before they got a room in the Overlook Hotel and started fucking. They really need to be much nicer to their toys. That silly doll. I have never known what to do with her. <laughs> Lucky. Just kidding. He stuffs her in a castle to make sure she stays dead. What are you doing with that sword? <laughs> yep, she's staying dead, all right. Lame. If this were Miss Velma, she would have just shot that doll with live ammunition. You know what makes a magic trick even more magical? Filming it with cuts. Oh my god, she's gone, but that rat that snuck in there is way dead. I've never seen Herschel use so many sharp objects with so little blood. That's the real magic trick. Congrats, boys, she's still a corpse. Ooh, another magic trick. Ah, uh, good. It's just like your last magic trick, only this time you didn't stick swords in it. We just get a jack-in-the-box. But tell me, sir, what does it do? It makes jack-in-the-box cheeseburgers. Perhaps it, uh, sings, or, or dances, or recites. No, no, don't dance. Just make cheeseburgers. <laughs> This movie is an hour long and we're not even halfway through it yet. Yep, it's one of those where I constantly check the time and the time never seems to be moving forward. And why aren't there violins? Oh, what happens Magical. I bet that effect looks great for those watching this live.
Props for dancing so well with fucking Pazuzu staring at you. <laughs> they are such an odd couple. This guy, am I right? What am I gonna do with him? I mean, seriously, keep this one away from sharp objects. He should be in a straight jacket. I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. Excellent. I just found the scroll and Wizard Whitebeard. If only I could find Waldo, then I can get the fuck out of this movie. This film is so desperate for movie padding that they actually make the drum first before they can play it. I'm starting to understand why the Nutcracker and the Four Realms wasn't a big money maker for Disney. How in the hell does this have a $120 million budget? <laughs> Perfect! Now the drum will sound good! Ah, forget it. That drum was haunted by a dead child anyway. Now we meet Princess Belle. She has dreams and goals. He'll waken you with a kiss and everything will be lovely. But he's looking for a sleeping beauty. Take a look at me. Do I look like I'm asleep to you? Don't cry over losing the guy who goes around kissing sleeping women. <laughs> oh dear, I've never been able to handle trying females. Merlin, see if you can help her. Then stop making girls cry, you creepy old king! Oh good, they take her to the casting couch. I see this going well. Careful or you'll say yes to being in the puppet inside me. And then Merlin and old King Cole put her to sleep. Because of course they did! How else would she agree to their lame magic show? <laughs> biggest magic trick this movie pulled was trying to convince me that it's a Christmas film. Yeah, yeah, this is all very magical, but when is Mickey Mouse gonna steal your hat? Someone needs to clean up this fucking stage! And that doesn't mean introduce new creepy characters! Where is she? Where is she? Your Majesty, I was told I would find a princess here. Don't tell the Boston Strangler where he can find sleeping women, and don't let him sing either! Never before and never again. Pyah! Thanks, Dion. Too much eggnog this Christmas? Now do your follow-up hit. Why must I be a teenager in hate? <laughs> oh my god, never do this to me again! Now slip something in her drink so you can both sing Baby It's Cold Outside. Anyway, everyone's back. Let the orgy commence! <laughs> Will Steve Hollis please invent rock and roll in the magic land of Mother Goose? I should have taken this shot as a sign that the devil is about to show up. Yeah, <laughs> The producer is here. Yeah, great, it's the witch from the magic Christmas tree. We just need Calvin to show up, and this can be a Nightmare Christmas Universe's Avengers. The witch uses her black magic to freeze them. You'll be so nice as a flower pot! <laughs> She's gonna stick flowers in your ass. It's good that she froze the Easter Bunny in a pose that makes it more comfortable for him to check out anyone's ass. Merlin, however, defeats the witch the same way he teases his dog when he's holding a treat. And if that's not enough, try burying her alive! <laughs> Are you really surprised that this is turning into a snuff film? Herschel was the right person to show what a Christmas special would look like if it were directed by Sardou and Ralphus from Bloodsucking Freaks. I think we all know what's gonna happen next. <laughs> He puts the comatose witch in a box and fucking burns her alive! That's right, burn witch, burn! Merry fucking Christmas! Eh, it's creepy, but it's not like they're gonna show us her toasted skeletal remains. <laughs> What the fuck, 
sixties? <laughs> No, you can't just awkwardly cut away after that. The least you could have done is saved some of her meat for a Christmas feast after you burnt her alive! Mother Goose finally makes an appearance. Might as well. She's a title character. Let me see what you're all about, old King Cole. <laughs> he created the witch trials. They must have paid Vicky Lawrence a fortune for this crossover with Mama's family. Good, they're unfrozen now, and suddenly they recognize a distinct burning flesh smell. Mother Goose tries sending all of her characters back into the book, except Jack Spratt. Well, you're supposed to be the thin one! Remember, a Jack Spratt could eat no fat. His wife could eat no lean. Mm, they're gonna eat Jack Spratt, aren't they? We'll help you lose weight, Jack. Here, get in this device we made to make mental patients go more insane. We'll strap you in there good so that there's no escape. You'll be in there for months. It's when they stuck more blades in that Herschel once again began twitching over the children's genre, not letting him use buckets of blood. You got to burn someone. Now Jack Spratt isn't fat anymore. That's what months in the box will do to you. A Christmas miracle, I guess. Just when you think it might be over, raggedy and rotting Anne scares the shit out of Scarlett O'Hara before her tennis match. And slap the shit out of her. <laughs> Chicks, bro! <laughs> Why are these women so hysterical? Do something! I have had nothing but crying females today. I'm convinced that a man can do nothing when a woman makes up her mind to cry. Old King Cole was a very old-fashioned king. He liked his women high on uppers and with a martini waiting for him on his throne for when he got home. Don't cry. You can now use this as a feather duster. Clean my piano, woman. And get in a book so you can suffocate as well. There's only eight minutes left. So close, but so far away. Oh, I see. You're important that code. Oh, well, that's magical. Yes, Captain Hoffman's study. Mmm, now I know he can make bull semen disappear. Now let's get little Bo Peep in here and do it forcibly. No! Stop pushing me! Control your children, Mother Goose. Even the old woman in the shoe is judging you. And they're totally gonna fuck that sheep, rowdy ass characters. You've been done nothing but a disobedient, recursive a rag doll all afternoon, and I won't stand for it. Merlin, you've got to teach this doll a lesson. Mm, don't want to know what road we're going down now. Then Merlin made her disappear and put her rotting corpse back in the book. Count yourself lucky. At least he didn't set you on fire. Oh, and God shows up again to make it all make more sense. Happiness comes through love for others. For what are you, King Cole, and you, Mother Goose, without little boys or little girls to read your stories? Who cares? They should be in prison. There, get back in there with the Sea King. You all deserve each other. Now that that's over, the other title character can show up again. I, I, I must have been asleep. <laughs> yes, I had a dream. Oh, wonderful dream. <laughs> Great. Santa is turned on by his own night terrors. The movie leaves us with a nightmare image that's not even matched by anything in any Silent Night, Deadly Night film. <laughs> yes. I'll see you all soon. <laughs> Whoa, they took the creepiness of Santa Claus is coming to town and fucking ran with it. Why is this movie bookended by the creepy Santa from A Christmas Story? This is one Santa that makes the elves fight to the death and the winner gets to fuck him. 
Let it be known that in Santa visits the magic land of Mother Goose, that Santa never actually visits the magic land of Mother Goose. It's clear that this was not originally a Christmas film and was only turned into such by adding Albert Fish Santa Claus to the beginning and end of the movie. Even the poster simply calls itself the magic land of Mother Goose with no mention of Santa. Although, thankfully, the film was later turned into a Broadway smash hit starring Nathan Lane and Matthew Broderick as Old King Cole and Merlin. Good lord, this stage special and Miss Velma fucking deserve each other. Both of them are about the joys and wonders of Christmas and murdering people on a live stage. Uh, I'm gonna need way more holiday booze to make it through the rest of these movies. You are the girl who all of my life I need.